Okay, the next step after blowing out all of the spark plug wells is to remove the spark plugs. So I decided that this time around I'm going to start with the uh, hardest one and move to the easiest one. On the other side, since I was first doing this, number five, which is the rearmost one on the passenger side, was the plug that blew. I started with number one because it was out in the open. I could see what was going on, get a feel for how hard or easy it was going to be to insert these holes. And uh, it wasn't too bad and it got progressively just more troublesome and to get up underneath there, but the, the putting in the insert wasn't bad. So I figured on this side I'm going to start with the hardest one up in the back and then that way as I work through them I'm not I'm fresh when I'm doing the hardest one rather than doing the easiest one fresh this one out here in the front number six and then by the time I'm tired doing number five tucked away in the back so, or number ten so I'll do number ten first and uh, move forward so obviously after blowing them out the next step is to remove the spark plugs so I have one of these little magnetic spark plug wrenches oh it's actually pretty nice this is new to me so it's got a magnet in here to lift the spark plug out of the well and keep held on to it when you're bringing it up out of there and the socket is fixed to the extension so when you go to pull it out you don't leave the extension down in the well or anything like that so it's it's, it's pretty nice so I've used that so that was the next step after pulling or blowing out the holes then the next step is going to be to get the valves closed so I've already talked about this, but we use this rubber stopper. The spark plug's out, so we're just open from the spark plug well down into the cylinder. We'll take this rubber stopper, poke it into the head in the top of the spark plug well, hook the other end up to about oh, 20 psi, you know, pretty low pressure, and then start feeding air, open this little crack, this little valve, and start feeding air into the cylinder. And as long as the valves are open, of course, air will escape, and this uh, little rubber stopper will stay stuck into the, the spark plug well. Then I'll get underneath it and turn the crank with a half inch breaker bar and an 18 millimeter socket put on the end of the, the front end of the crankshaft. I'll start turning the engine over slowly by hand a little bit. Then eventually it'll hit the point where the valves just go closed and when they close the cylinder will seal and the air pressure will build up and it'll pop this little cork out and you'll be able to hear it. So I'm going to get this jammed back in there, get some air hooked up to it, get underneath it and start turning the cylinders around.